if we have a look now. Yeah. So it's opening accordingly and it's closing accordingly. That's pretty rad. Okay, so installing the kick sensor for the front, uh, you get these uh, cables. Also to the power, this is the control unit. We're gonna put that in there. And obviously you have to take out your uh, front like that. You can see in other videos how you do it. I can link it up there so you can see it. Um, first thing first, I'm gonna wire the cable to the sensor on the other, on the other side here to get it under the lip here. And then I'm gonna do the rest of the wires here. This is what I ended up doing. Um, double sided tape on each side and the cable is going down on the right side here. I have to pull it through with some uh, wire threader. And since I have the unplugged performance front lip, I have a lot of room here. So my, I'm thinking that I'm just gonna let the cable go and you can see it comes out from under the black plastic and the original front lip and I'm just gonna let it lie in there because there's so much room in here and then I'm just gonna tighten the wire up when the kick sensor is glued on under here and I think that's gonna be the best solution um, having the uh, unplugged performance front lip if you don't have it you just loosen up everything you make some space between your original lip and the black plastic here and you root the cable but I think you're gonna need some uh, wire threader uh, or wire pulley to get it done because it's really tight in the front so you can see I got that cable up down there between that black plastic and the front lip there's very tight space here so I'm gonna root that over here and then do the rest and right now the cable is in there and the sensor is fixed there so it just goes up between here and like I said there's a lot of room here so it's gonna be the best solution for me. Okay, so after getting the cable in, I just zip tied it like this, and then I got the cables going to the uh, controller up here and also to the power. Gotta put the ground here and also this white one. We need to take it out from here. So we're just gonna open up here so we get to those terminals. Yeah, the white one is gonna be on this one uh, with the red. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of that white wire, cut it off, and I'm gonna use that as a loop to fish out the rest of it. So, just wanna put the loop, this one, in here. And put the wire in the loop. Just pull it out like that. Okay, so this one is supposed to be connected with the red one. I don't know why it, and what it does, but uh, I think there's something with the emergency opening. So I'm just gonna strip off a little bit of the wire so I'm stripping off quite a bit there's a hole here where you can thread it through and I'm just gonna connect it like that I think it's just for some security reasons 
while, while it's there. And it says to wrap it up with some electric tape. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. So the white wire is connected here and I also secured it with um, a zip tie just to make sure it stays there. And this one is probably for um, emergency opening if you need to use the battery. Um, this is the emergency release of the electric frunk. So everything is here. And now we're just gonna put everything back together and we're gonna route the rest of the wires. Okay, so just push this back on and you're ready to go. Now, the next thing, we have to connect the uh, power and the ground. And the ground cable comes without anything. So I'm just gonna put on um, a clamp there. And I'm gonna put it here with the rest of the grounds. Not on the battery, which is uh, in the instructions. But I'd rather use some good ground here and not directly on the battery. I got my clamp or terminal on the wire for the ground. I'm not gonna connect that yet. Um, here is the positive. Uh, that's supposed to go in the fuse box to the uh, front opener, the electric one. I'm gonna show you how to do that one. Um, then we have the connector. And this one goes, it's just easy, just uh, connected to the box here. Okay, just use some force and you get it in there. So that one is going in here with the control unit. Here's the power. And then I just kind of um, uh, make all the rest of the cables here. Just gonna zip tie them so it looks clean. So after I'm done with all the cables, I'm gonna open up this one. And put the controller inside the protective rubber here. Then use another zip tie to close it again. Just like when you install the power trunk. Okay, I like that. So for um, for the power, we take the fuse. This is the fuse for uh, the electric uh, frunk. We open it up and we need to take out the fuse. Uh, this part goes to the battery. That's not the terminal we're gonna use. We're gonna put the wire in the left one, which is going out. So we insert into the left Thermal, like that, and then we put the fuse back in. And now it's locked in place by the fuse. And then it's all uh, we gotta do is uh, connect the uh, negative one. Ground is connected to the ground point here, and everything is wired up. So we got a control unit in here. We have the positive here. Um, we got the white wire going out to the terminal on the emergency release. And we also got the wire going down and under to the sensor here. Yeah, so finishing up, just put everything back to place. Uh, you can refer to that video, uh, which I linked to in the beginning, um, which shows you how to take this one out and put it back in. And it should all be working. If you have any problems um, in the first to close it, you can just help it down the first time. And if we have a look now, yeah. So it's opening accordingly and it's closing accordingly. That's pretty rad. And if you want to buy this one, this module um, to open up, you can use the link in the description and you can also use the 
um, code there and you will get 15% discount off the product. So check out the description and check out the links. You also get 15% discount on the whole kit for the power struts and also to the uh, trunk as well as the front and the sensor here. This is pretty darn cool.